Welcome to Call of Duty Insider, a series of tips and tricks videos to give you an edge on the competition. In this episode, we'll be breaking down an all new approach to your soldier's loadout known as Divisions. Each of the five divisions comes with a unique set of skills that will help you be the most effective soldier you can be. Like to hang back and snipe enemies? You might take advantage of the Mountain Division's sharpshooter focus. If you like to move fast and sprint across a map, the Fleet-Footed Airborne Division might be more your speed. You're welcome to use any weapon you want with your chosen division, but each division favors a specific weapon class and gives you a level 1 perk for equipping it. As you gain more XP in battle, your division unlocks more unique skills, attributes, and gear. Let's take a look at each division to help you decide which one is right for you. Up first, the Infantry Division. This is a great all-around division whose playstyle lends itself to all maps and modes. If your infantry soldier chooses a rifle, he will equip the rifle bayonet, providing a distinct advantage in close quarters combat. While other divisions might need to melee enemies multiple times, infantry soldiers can use their bayonet for a brutal one-hit kill. That's gonna hurt! The more division XP you earn, the higher your division rank, and the higher your division rank, the more skills you unlock. With Infantry 2 comes the skill of additional primary attachments. This division is focused on weapon performance and gets an extra attachment slot on all rifles. Just look at this guy's weapon. It's got the accuracy of a sight, the stability of a stock, and the added headshot damage of full metal jacket rounds. Pretty lethal combo. Heavy on the trigger? Infantry 3 is what you're looking for with their extra magazines. This allows you to carry more ammunition so you won't have to worry about running out of ammo during a long streak. Infantry 4 gives improved speed while aiming down the sights. At this point, you're basically a well-equipped, decked-out, quick-shooting one-man fire team. That's the infantry. Up next, the Airborne Division. Masters of speed and close-quarters combat. Just look at this guy. He's toting an SMG equipped with the Airborne-specific detachable suppressor. This little gem keeps your gunfire from showing up on the enemy's minimap allowing you to swiftly move through the map undetected. When you earn more Division XP, you'll unlock more Airborne Division skills to strengthen your run-and-gun playstyle. Airborne 2 lets you sprint longer distances. Airborne 3 allows you to climb over obstacles faster. And finally, Airborne 4 increases your overall sprint speed. So there, you're a fast-moving, quick-climbing marathon machine that can't be stopped. The Armored Division. These masters of firepower provide your soldier with a bipod, allowing you to mount your light machine gun on any surface for heavy and stable gunfire. This skill is perfect for mid-range engagements and ideal for defending an objective. With Armor 2, you'll get immunity against shell shock and enemy tactical equipment. Armored 3 lessens the amount of fire damage you take. And the cherry on top? Armored 4 lets you take significantly less explosive damage. Now let's move on to the other end of the firepower spectrum, Mountain Division. These lords of camouflage and stealth deliver death from a distance with their sharpshooter skill, which lets them hold their breath to steady their aim with a sniper rifle. And the perks don't stop there. As you level up, you'll unlock mini-map invisibility to enemy recon aircraft with Mountain 2. Mountain 3 keeps you hidden from player-controlled score streaks like the ball turret and glide bomb. And Mountain 4 will give you silent movement. Did I do that? Yes, I did. That's the masters of the long-range one-shot kill. Now, the up-close and personal one-shot kill. Say hello to the Expeditionary Force. If you find yourself most comfortable in close quarters combat, the Expeditionary Force offers your shotgun incendiary shells, which set your enemies aflame. At close range, these shells can kill your enemy outright, but if not, the flames can finish the job. Ooh, that's toasty. Expeditionary 2 gives you the ability to equip both lethal and tactical equipment. Expeditionary 3 will let you throw equipment faster, farther, and while sprinting. Boom! And Expeditionary 4 will resupply equipment from killed enemies. So there's a kill, there's a bag of equipment. There you go. Your orders. Try all of the different divisions. Each one is tailored to a specific play style, and you'll find a need for each one depending on the map, mode, and war experience. 
So be sure to try each, then level them up and help win the battle. That's it for this episode of Call of Duty Insider. Have fun out there taking the different divisions for a spin. Be sure to check back often for more episodes of Call of Duty Insider for new hints, tricks, and inside intel for Call of Duty World War II. Play Matt Packs 30 Days Early.